Hi guys, I have this Samsung Galaxy A50. We're having a problem here where if we turn the phone on, it is going straight to the download mode one inside, right? So let me try and turn it on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Well, seems not like it's not turning on. So let me plug the charging cable in. And as you can see, the light turn on there to charge the device. So guys, the reality is, anyhow I turn the device on, it will not come on, it will go straight to the download mode. And this is what I mean, like, as you can see, download mode. And I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching any button or anything, so it's on the download mode and if i try pressing the download that volume down button to restart cancel and restart the phone as you can see nothing is happening here let's try the volume down on the power button Let's try, as you can see, straight back into the download mode. So definitely something is wrong here. Definitely something is wrong here. The volume up button also seems to have a problem. We are going to quickly... We are going to quickly take the phone apart and see what we can do. Yeah, because definitely something is wrong here. So we are going to fix this. So guys, we should be able to take the back of the phone off, just like that. I'm talking from experience, just like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove all the screws. The phone is actually still on. I am going to remove all the screws. We're going to do so quickly. So guys, I finished removing all the screws. The next thing in which we have to do is to remove the SIM tray. You can either do this before or after taking off the back cover, taking out all the screws. Normally it's very very good to do this first, the SIM card, but we did not use much heat. So we just removed the memory card and also the SIM card. We are going to take off the back cover. The phone is not cooperating, so guys, I have to do this with the phone on. We just remove the back cover. Now, I'm going to show you what we are going to do. Now, we are going to unplug the battery. And then there's one screw, which is right here. We are going to remove it. It's a black screw. Now that screw is removed. We are going to un we are going to plug back in the battery and we are going to raise up the motherboard. So now that we raise up the motherboard, none of the buttons are pressing. So I'm going to show you guys the technique here. Uh, for us to turn on the device, we can touch these two pins together. And that is to turn the device on. So let me go ahead and touch these together. So the device is coming on. And what do you know? Look at that. Look at that. We're seeing the Samsung logo. The device is powering on. And we know that the problem is the button. The button is giving us trouble the button is not connected because some of the phones have the button connection under the, 
the motherboard so that's why I release the screw and I remove the motherboard but the problem is the but the button so if we press these two pins here right the screen lights up definitely the problem is the power button now for this model the power for this model the buttons are in this in the back cover here right so what we need to do we need to remove this and the problem is coming from the volume button area so this is the a50 we need to remove it there's a metal fitting inside of this so we need to take the metal fitting out so as you can see we are able to get it out and you need to be careful because you don't want to bust the ribbon so we need to remove this ribbon as well so I'm going to give it I am going to give it some heat so we can remove that easily So I think that is enough. Let's see if we can remove this easily. Oh, it's hot. Okay, you can even do so by pulling this up. It's a risk pulling this up. But from just working on these things, I just know how much strength to apply. Yeah. So... I think we have a defective button on this we have a defective button which is the up button and what we're going to do we're going to remove the up button so guys we were successful in removing it So guys, we are going to solder it on. So we are going to take our time and we oh my. So I just reduce the airflow because I was just going to take my time slowly from the top. But if you notice what happened, it just blew it off. So I wanna believe that that is it. Let me just allow it to dry. And that is it. Okay. It's very important that we leave it to dry and let us test yeah that's it so yeah all we need to do is just clean up so guys the button is finished and it's the moment of truth we are going to test so what we need to do here we need to put back in the button into the space and let me see which side it is it's this side so we need to put this in and we need to put it in So we need to put it in like this. This is how we remove it, so in like this. And once we have done that, we're done. So guys, basically we're done once we put it back into that back cover. And for the phone, 
the black screw that I remove I have to put back in the black screw I'm going to put it back in so this is the only screw that is really holding the motherboard and I need to put it back in right here nice now that is in we're going to put back on the back cover so the back cover is actually on now what we need to test for is to turn on the device to see wow the device is actually still on so you can see that the problem is fixed the problem is fixed everything is working normally so yeah you hold the volume down and also the power button the device should shut off and here we go so the problem is fixed this was just a button problem in which we were able to fix now let me see let me reboot the device now and see it's very good to do these checks and the volume down is working perfectly reboot the system now so okay I think that we're still not getting any touch from the volume down sorry we're still not getting any touch from the volume up and we're trying to power off the phone using the power button but we are still not able to power off the phone so what we are going to do we are going to unplug the battery and then we are going to turn on the phone sometimes something like this can happen it can actually happen because we just heat up the port we just heat up the button which is the inside button so sometimes when you heat the button you don't have to necessarily get a quick response right away unless you allow the board to cool down for a good 10 minutes which I did not do so I plug in the charger you can see that the phone lights up let's see if it will turn on without any problem so yeah there's an issue with the button here and I think it's with the power up if I try powering off the device let's see it's not allowing us to power off the device so let us hold on the volume down and the power button together do a force restart and let's see if the phone will turn on but definitely the button is the problem and we actually made some progress here uh maybe we may have to change the entire strip i don't know well the volume up is working now so as i told you sometimes you have to sometimes you have to leave the button a good 10 minutes for it to function properly we should be able to reboot the phone now so i was actually correct about one thing and i can bet you that the phone is going to turn on successfully right this video is concluded and all we have to do basically is to just put in the screws and stick back on the back cover so i was correct i was correct so we are done i hope that this video was helpful guys do like comment and also share my videos with your friends and family we are done here the power button is working as well so yeah
volume button is working volume up is working power button is working guys so i hope that this was helpful do like share and subscribe